Well, today I'm going to uh, demonstrate some uh, budding. Uh, it's uh, 6th of September, so it's kind of getting, the, the budding season uh, is uh, generally around here in western Washington, uh, mid-August to mid-September. Uh, and uh, so in this case, I'm going to do some budding on uh, plum. Now, uh, budding is a form of clonal propagation like grafting, except that instead of using a whole stick or a piece of a stick like that, we're, we're just going to use a single bud and we're going to insert that single bud into the rootstock. And uh, so now this particular bud stick was just taken uh, within the last 24 hours or so and kept cool. So, so this was a, in this case, it was an Italian plum um, uh, taken uh, this, uh, as I say, just quite recently and stripped of, of all the leaves. And uh, so, so uh, at, the, at the base of where the leaves were stripped off, like I can use uh, this rootstock as an illustration. Um, um, we took the fresh leaves and we just stripped, basically just stripped off the leaves. And uh, so, so that we just have these dormant buds now where the, where the leaves had been, at the base of where the leaves, leaf stem had come out. And so we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take this bud stick now and, uh, and, and we're gonna remove a single bud from the bud stick. And, uh, and, and the, the technique that we're gonna use is, uh, this is gonna be what's called a chip bud. And so uh, going um, uh, half an inch or so uh, below a bud here, we're going to make an incision with the knife like that. And then we're going to go above the bud and, uh, and make a sweeping cut to connect this first part with the second part. And so I'm going to hold my thumb there to keep the bud from flying all over the place. And uh, now I've got a, a bud chip. Uh, I'm going to be careful not to touch the, um, the cut surface inside. Uh, I can put it in my lips, but to, to free up both hands, uh, now I'm going to go to the rootstock here, the plum rootstock, and I'm going to make an incision just like I made on the bud stick, uh, cutting downward like this. And this is going to be a place where I'm going to insert the bud chip into. And so I'm going to make uh, a second cut starting uh, to about the same width and length as that first bud uh, cut. And uh, so, let's see how I did here. Uh, just kind of guesstimated the, the width. And uh, I'm going to make that, uh, that in incision. We're going to insert that, that bud chip now into that slot that I made to kind of hold it there in place. And uh, now this is kind of the tricky part is... Uh, Holding the rubber in place while we whoops while we wrap the whole thing and uh, it's moved slightly so okay now I've got it wrapped around itself and uh, I'm gonna wrap the whole thing covering even the bud so the whole idea behind this timing doing it in late summer is that we don't want that bud to start growing until next spring, okay? So um, ideally, you want to cut the bud piece so that it's going to match on both sides, uh, the width. But if it only matches on one side, it'll still work, okay? So we're going to wrap the whole thing now with this rubber, or it can be a strip of clear plastic or whatever kind of wrapping material you have. Then we'll just tuck the whole thing under itself. Now, we've got one bud inserted into the rootstock. We're going to just forget about it now after we make sure that it's labeled properly until next spring. Next spring, what we're going to do, if that, the, the rubber will have degraded by then, and if not, we'll take the rubber off. At any rate, what we will do then is we, if the, if the bud is still alive, and especially if it's starting to swell a little bit, then we're going to take our clippers and we're going to cut off any piece of rootstock 
and we're going to cut off right about a half inch above that that now no longer dormant bud in the spring. We're going to cut that off and so that all the new growth will be forced through that one bud to make a brand new tree. That's the most common way that fruit trees uh, are now propagated is by budding in late summer, at least here in the north. Now in places like California where you have a much longer growing season, this same technique is often done in June. Uh, on, on rootstocks that were planted that spring, um, or even in the spring, early in the spring. But uh, chip budding is uh, the most common form of budding now. It's especially useful where you have a, a rootstock that is considerably thicker than your cyan wood. So I can, do, I can use the same technique on, uh, on a rootstock that's, you know, this thick, where it might be hard to, to uh, graft uh, a, a cyan wood um, a dormant sign would onto. Um, so, uh, um, but the timing is really critical here. If we had done this earlier in the summer, that bud could have started to grow and then not harden off properly, uh, and and that that could make it uh, liable for damage in the in the fall and winter with the first freezes. So, so that's the idea. That's the beauty of doing it in late summer here in the north. Is that the idea is to not have that bud start growing until next spring and uh, um, and that way uh, it's got a whole growing season to make a lot of growth and with an established root system you might see four to seven feet of growth from that one bud in one growing season well this is an example of uh, this is an example of a, of a chip bud that was done earlier that's been forced now so you can see right where the base of my finger is is, is where I inserted the chip and, uh, and then we cut off the top there. And, uh, and it, we, that cut could be made a little more flush now at this point. But, uh, but, but that way you can see the, um, where, the, where the chip was inserted very clearly. And well, here's another example. Here's some Asian pears that were chip butted uh, and, uh, and then, and then uh, grown out and then potted up this spring. And so you can see the chip bud right here. Uh, that's where we cut it off, uh, uh, the rootstock part, and so it's turned into a nice straight tree. Here's another example. Uh, there's the, there's the, where the chip bud was inserted. Okay. There's the top of the rootstock, and it's grown into a nice tree. So, uh, chip budding, it's called. Um, it can be done, uh, uh, like I say, uh, on, on many different kinds of fruit trees and nut trees. Um, with the nut trees, temperature... Uh, um, is more critical with the with the fruit trees in general, uh, but this is a very common technique for for uh, uh, clonally propagating apple varieties, pear varieties, plums, peaches, um, cherries, and so on. Uh, all the common fruits pretty much are, are mostly propagated more by chip budding than they are by grafting in the spring. So, but either either technique works. So, if uh, if, if grafting uh, has failed for you and you have some rootstock uh, available that's uh, nice and vigorous, uh, chip budding would be a, a way of uh, trying to propagate that same item again uh, later in the, in the growing season. So the uh, main cr critical thing is if it's successful is you have to be very vig vigilant about removing all rootstock growth uh, above and below the chip bud the following spring or whenever. Uh, you're trying to force it uh, so that uh, that one bud can can uh, take advantage of an established root system and put out a lot of growth.